Good morning. It's great to have your company this Monday, the 22nd of March. I'm Jessica Ramir, a market analyst with Bell Direct. And apologies for the lateness of this morning, Bell. Well, just to mix things up, at the weekend we saw a game of investing twister, if you will. US tech stocks back in fashion. Blue chip stocks sold down. The top 30 stocks fell 0.7% underwater. Visa shares were one of the worst performers in the Dow Jones, losing over 6%. JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs fell over 1%, while the Nasdaq rallied. 0.8 of a percent. Facebook scrolled up 4%. Amazon and eBay lifted their game up 1%. And investors really took profits from banks for a very important reason. The US Central Bank, the Federal Reserve, now decided not to extend the leverage ratio for banks that was introduced in the pandemic, allowing them to hold less capital. So now banks, US banks, will be required to hold more capital, which means that they'll probably be selling down treasury bond holdings to shore up funds. So this means that bond yields will be sent even higher at a time when bond yields are outpacing tech dividends. So this week, you'd think that tech stocks will continue to see selling pressure and blue chip stocks like uh, US banks as well as Aussie banks will continue to see buying uh, buying mounting given that they've got much stronger balance sheets. So that's something I guess to chew the fat on. Now what to watch today? The local market expected to have a soggy start to the week. The futures were early suggesting a fall of 0.2 of a percent. A quiet week economically, manufacturing and services sector data out on Wednesday for March. Eyes will be on if the services sector recovery is continuing, given the services sector traditionally makes up 70% of national income. But today the focus, four areas, tech. Will it bounce following the US after pay and zip? Likely to see um, a bit of a, a charge today, but keep in mind that they are in downtrends. But small cap IOU was added to the tech index from today, and it's also breaking out, so keep an eye on IOU. Larger caps look at zero XRO. They're attempting to break out of a downtrend. Now, the second focus the vaccine rollout. Six million Aussies will be eligible for the jab from today. A thousand GP clinics will offer the vaccine, plus keep in mind the TGA approved AstraZeneca's vaccine to be produced by CSL. So speaking of CSL, keep your eye on their shares. Even though they're in a downtrend, you could be able to pick up some low-hanging fruit. Now the third focus, company news. The distressed company Crown Resorts received an $8 billion takeover offer valuing their shares at $11.85 a piece. On Friday, we saw Crown close at $9.86. So now there's a bit of a lineup uh, with retail traders rushing in to buy the stock. Cannabis company Oscan AC8 received $500,000 US dollars for the sale of their Chilean JV venture. Expecting 1 million US over the next two years to complete that sale. And the fourth focus, Aussie shipbuilding. Why? Because the Australian government has announced that it's launching a new committee to look at Australia's multi-billion dollar naval shipbuilding plan. So keep an eye on Austal ASB. Separately, commodity stocks back in focus. The oil price is up 2%. Gold and silver up half a percent, while the iron ore price continues to to head south. And keep an eye on some of those most traded stocks from Friday. For our active trader desk, Bell Direct Advantage, they included OneView Healthcare ONE. They continue to skyrocket up 60% and Space Talk SPA, their shares jumped 32% on Tez, uh, Telstra, part of me announcing that they're reselling Space Talk's kids smartwatch. Trading ideas that could be worth a look. Well, two upgrades for Bill Potter. Nickel company Western Areas WSA was moved from a hold to a buy, a $2.45 target. And Bill Potter initiated coverage of the gas supplier Central Petroleum CTP, a $0.23 cent target for CTP, saying the company could benefit from a new proposed pipeline which will increase its Aussie East Coast gas sales. Lastly, People Infrastructure PPE, Hearts and Minds Investments, HM1 and Team Invest Private TIP could be worth a look. They're giving off bullish charting signals, according to Trading Central. I'm Jessica Ramirez with Bell Direct. Stay safe, happy trading. And again, apologies for the lateness of this morning, Bill.